what's going on everyone it's easy with my very first tutorial on how to run multiple accounts on BlueStacks currently I am using BlueStacks a lot of others like to use Knox or there's a couple others out there um, but I prefer BlueStacks it seems to run pretty smooth for me so use what you like they're pretty similar but what you're going to have to do is download BlueStacks and you will open up the multi instance manager. I have all my accounts set up already. So it looks like I have about eight accounts set up. And what you're going to want to do is when you start a new instance, you want to make sure that you start fresh don't clone it causes problems when you when you launch all the accounts at the same time I made that mistake on three of them I, I may start over with them uh, it, it's actually pretty simple uh, but start fresh so I'm gonna load these five accounts right now and kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing and how to actually run all five at the same time. It's going to take a minute or two for all five to load up. But we'll skip over that here in a second. Alright, so all five are up now. And what you're going to want to do is go to the Google Play Store and download the game that you're looking for. In my case, it's Lords Mobile. And you're gonna have to do this for every instance. So I'm already set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over and show you a little trick where I synchronize all five. What you do, go down to the sync operations. I select all. And now I can jump in all at the same time. And this will take a minute, so I'll kind of skip the load time also. So with all these sync, it, it kind of helps you out because you don't have to go five different screens and click five different things to do the same thing. Uh, here I'm hitting the mystery box. I get every single one. Uh, one kind of messed up on me, but no big deal. I can hit the VIP quests. And if your mystery boxes are off on your main screen that you're using, just click another one until you see the box actually go. I usually wait for all the gem stores to pop up on all the screens and then I'll just click out of those at the same time. It takes a minute or so for them to all sync up. They've all popped up now so I'm going to click out and then I'm going to go to all my heroes. I do these individual because the one you're working on is never going to be in the same spot as another. So I'm going to click the ones I want and then I'll go back to my main one and then start going from there. Also I just want to kind of let you know that I used to be running an 8 gig RAM and you're going to want to update to about 16 at the minimum to run 5 because before I was only getting about 2, maybe 3 uh, accounts actually running at the same time. So what I did here was I sent a message to my personal bank so that it, it's easier to find when I go to set up my macro. So I'm going to take all the accounts out to the Kingdom map and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this sync so that all five aren't running at the same time. I'm going to set up just the three that send all their resources to the personal bank. I'm 
my macro starting point is on helping hands so let me get there I open up the side screen and in the three dots there's the macro recorder open that and I have multiple set up I have guild admin I've got helping hands I've got you know all RSS what I want to do is I want to click all this will give me uh, the helping hands it will give me guild gifts it will give me um, the admin and guild scrolls and then it will send all the RSS straight to Carnage. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sync the other two so that I can collect the admin scrolls, the guild scrolls, uh, usually if there's any gifts. Um, it tends to make it a little easier while the macro is going. The macro that's running the three accounts is actually sitting on the admin quest right now. I know they're not there, but it was clicking through them. And now what it's going to do, it's going to jump to the mail. It clicks on the very first spot clicks on Carnage and it will start sending all the RSS it has probably every 30 minutes or so. just want to show you guys another little fun thing I want to do. Uh, I'm going to click out of these sinks and I'm going to close the macro. I'm going to get all the all the accounts lined back up and I'm going to try and find a little level 2 monster here. I'm going to sync all five back up to each other and scroll around For some reason, it wants to kind of jump around in the background. But what I'm going to do is I'll find one. Oh, there's one. I'll click on it here, and then I'll have to set each one individually to be on that monster also. You can also pause your sync and restart it at any time. So as I'm finding where to place the, the monster at, um, it makes it a little easier if you're trying to find it on your main screen. Okay, now I have all of them on the monster, and I'm hoping that all the heroes are set, which they are, and here we go. Five little guys running at one monster. It's fun to see on the screen. Uh, gotta thank an old guild mate for kind of showing me this, because I, I saw his uh, hunters going all over the place. and. He's the one that kind of told me when I was running Knox. So they brought it into Blue Stacks also. So I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below or you can message me online, which is EZDoesIt25, no spaces. Uh, I'll answer any questions or concerns. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.